Welcome to the Assembly of Kingdom Legislators. I don't know if this thing sounds as um, beautiful words to you, but I don't come up with them. Sometimes it comes to me and I'm scared that somebody preach on this before. That I literally go online to check if another pastor has said something like that before in case my mind is, is going wild. I don't come up with them. God calls you his kingdom legislator. You are a member of God's legislative assembly. We have been all called out and gathered together to govern the affairs of our diverse spheres. So turn to the person seated closest to you and tell that person, welcome to the assembly of kingdom legislators. Say it like you understand it. Tell the person you have governmental authority. Say, I am a kingdom legislator. I have governmental authority. Oh yes, you have authority, governmental authority. Last week we talked about administrative authority as a kingdom executor. You have governmental authority to decide what happens in and around you. We are still on our series on kingdom and ambassadors. One of the things the Holy Spirit opened my eyes to see is that one of the duties of a kingdom ambassador is to function as a spiritual legislator. So today, God has come to call each and every one of us to the place of responsibility. Matthew chapter number 16 verse 19. Give me in the Passion Translation. Please, let's read it together. I will give you the keys. Let's read it together, please. I will give you the keys of, the, of heaven's kingdom realm to forbid on earth that which is forbidden in heaven and to release on earth that which is released in heaven I had to pick this verse so i don't have to go into a, a z genesis because i realize most of us have been quoting the scripture and using it wrong i don't want to go there this scripture this very translation helps us to skip that say i will give you the keys of heaven's kingdom realm to forbid on earth that which is forbidden in heaven and to release on earth that which is released in heaven. That, this scripture immediately tells me that there are things that are forbidden in heaven that are walking the earth freely. There are situations and circumstances not permitted in heaven that are still happening on the earth. That's what immediately jumps out at me when I read that verse. It also tells me that there are gifts, there are blessings released in heaven. They have your name, they have my name on it which are not yet released on earth, so they are not yet manifest. And we know it is supposed to be on earth as it is in heaven. At least our part of the earth is supposed to be a reflection of heaven and earth. So what did Jesus mean when he says, I will, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven? Keys are symbols of authority and rulership. So here, Jesus is giving the keys of governmental authority in his kingdom to the church. The church of Jesus Christ is God's legislative assembly. We in Christ Jesus, we are his legislators. All believers, when I say we, all believers, not your pastors alone, not, the, not titled ministers, all of us in Christ Jesus are called to legislate on behalf of God, to talk, to enact, to make sure that the legislation passed in heaven is as it is in heaven here on earth. So according to the text we read, we can understand that if our assignment is legislation and we are legislators, then there are basically two things we are supposed to do. Forbid on earth what heaven forbids and release on earth what heaven has released. So when Father stands here and shouts, now we the wrong things, he's telling you this scripture that we are the ones in charge. It's nothing but the truth. You and I has been gathered and summoned, called out from the diverse places on earth, called out from darkness, called out from sin, called out from death to govern the affairs of our homes, of our cities, of our environment, of our societies. We are the ones in charge. We are the elect of God. We, not ordained ministers, all of us in Christ Jesus. We, all believers, 
are God's legislative officials. And when we gather like this, like this assembly right now, we are his legislative assembly. What we say and do together, corporately, individually, has far-reaching consequences. We need to walk in this understanding and know that we have been chosen, we have been redeemed, we have been saved by God to bring about his good purposes on earth. Government is on our shoulders. We are called to wage war in the heavenly places on behalf of our families, on behalf of our cities, on behalf of people groups, on behalf of nations, on behalf of even entire continents. I don't just want you to just listen. I want you to sit in understanding because while I was preparing this, the Holy Spirit impressed it upon my heart that is going to be releasing burdens upon this house. It's going to be delivering burdens upon this house. Some of us will catch, some of us will catch unusual burdens to start interceding for different people groups. You will have burden as you walk away from this place to start interceding for singles, for the lead ministers, for marriages, for teenagers, for sick, for the sick, the lost, the oppressed, the children. Upon this house, garments of fire is coming upon you. Why? The church has been too quiet for such a long time. We've been sleeping. And today and next Sunday, God wants to release upon this house an unusual fire of prayer. Because it's time we start to legislate in the heavenly places. It's time we start to take the legislation on, of heaven and tell hell, you go no further. We are having ABC, the people are identifying with all the letters of the alphabet. And what do we do about it? We talk, we post about it. They are coming to Africa. A couple of years ago, I was preparing yesterday, the Holy Spirit reminded me. He woke me up in the night and said, send the spirit of so -so person out of Africa. I didn't know who the person was. I just spoke and stood up and took my phone and went to Google. And it turned out to be someone who has, who has all manner of, has identified with our, all the alphabets. We know them. And he's still listening to them. What was the spirit doing in Africa at that time of the day? So it means a spiritual legislation going on while the church sleeps. And so we wake up and our children begin to identify as cats and dogs and mouse and God knows what. And we wonder, okay, that came more. No, it did not that came more. We are sleeping. And God is calling the church back to responsibility. So some of us, I pray that it will be all because he says he's releasing burdens. We'll walk away from this place with burdens. Burdens to start interceding, to start legislating, to start speaking on behalf of God. And it's not something you will do it once and once in a while. It's a systematic, it will come with a plan. It will, God will download it with a plan. Some of you will not just intercede, you'll be led to assemble intercession teams and tackle people groups, tackle nations, tackle neighborhoods. Stop talking about the violence in your neighborhood. You are there to legislate. Heaven has passed the legislation that peace and abounds. You enact it that in this environment, peace abounds. That's what it means to be a legislator of the Most High. That's what it means to be a kingdom legislator. That's what Jesus meant in that scripture when he says, I will give you the keys to the kingdom realm. I'll give you authority. I'll give you government. I'll give you power that you can take what I have done in heaven and do it here on earth because if you and I don't do it, nobody is going to do it. Even God will not do it. It's a weighty assignment. We have slept for too long. We have stayed too quiet for too long. We've complained for too long. We've acted, you and I, we've slept. We've literally just gone to bed while the devil has steadily encroached. Hell has been menacing. Hell is devouring. Look around your neighborhood. That child that keeps going in and out of the hospital. Could you have taken the kingdom to that child? You don't need, the parents don't need to know you. Adopt the child in your prayer and legislate hells. It will happen. Are there schools you are hearing strange things happening? God opened our eyes some time ago and we saw what the trading that happens in schools. If God has done that, if you have already heard, your daughter comes home to say this is happening, that is happening. You are hearing it not to talk about it, but to bring another government and superimpose upon the government that is taking place in that, that is, that is causing that and change that environment. Heaven has passed the legislation. We have it here, everything God wants to tell us. We know how he wants our societies to be. We know he wants peace to walk the streets. We know he wants our homes to be fruitful. We know he wants our singles to be married. We know he, he wants the married to be fruitful, to have children. But are we walking in that reality, everybody? No. 
to step out of yourself. Stop praying about your bread and butter and wine and whatever and start taking up the burden of the kingdom and watch your bread and water and wine being provided without you having to have to ask for it. You are kingdom legislator. God depends on you to get things done on this realm. God depends on you to turn things around in this realm. So go back and change the story of a family you've been hearing that people die before they get to 39. You don't need to know them. You, you watch things on the on, on internet or on CNN, post the TV and send a legislation to Asia, to Europe. To send it there. You are your own limitation. You are the only one seeing yourself as small. Father, he illustrated something here. I pray that picture never leaves you. And if you were not in church, take the video. That is where you are seated, right with Christ. And you know the funny thing? There are no two seats. The Bible does not say there is one seat and another. So meaning you are seated in the very seat that Christ is sitting and we are sleeping. Can you imagine the power we are carrying and dilly dialing around? God is calling us back to the place of responsibility. God is calling us back to the place of intentionally using our words to change the atmosphere, to bring back our children from hell, to bring back our singles from prostitution, to bring back, to bring, to take back families, to take back our institutions, to take back our hospitals, to take back our schools. And God is not going to do it. He is depending on you because he has given you the keys to forbid on earth that which heaven has forbidden. So are we angry about... Our, untimely death are we angry about cancer it's forbidden in heaven we are the ones permitting it here are we angry about the things that are happening in government our cult is taking over government it's forbidden in heaven we are the ones permitting it here you and i are the ones to rise and take responsibility in the spirit realm we are not called to go and fight with hands we are called to speak because we are beings of dominion and dominion is on our tongue all we need to have is that passion to just stand up and know that forget whatever you think you are you are in God you are bigger than everything once you come into that understanding you will not be afraid of those cockroaches could we please rise and affirm the word of God and I pray as you speak that the garment of fire that has been released upon this auditorium today will rest mightily upon you as you re as you repeat these words because you are repeating you're telling you're telling yourself who you are that God will close you with unusual grace to pray with spirit the spirit of prayer and supplication he said I'm pouring upon this house the spirit of grace and supplication the spirit of prayer I'm taking you to new uncharted territories in the spirit I pray that that garment will come on you and will come on me and this house God will use this house to revive his body say this with me I am a kingdom legislator Say it like you understand it. I am a kingdom legislator. I am God's solution to the vices and strategies of the devil. I want to hear your voice. I forbid on earth all that heaven forbids. And I release on earth all that is released in heaven. My portion of the earth is a reflection of heaven. I refuse to let the devil decide for the people, families, cities, and nations around me. I am God's sentinel to the nations. I am equipped with the spirit of intercession. I'm chosen to walk in governmental authority and dominion. I am charged with protecting my sphere from the ravaging forces of darkness. God depends on me to get things done here. I am a spiritual legislator. I have, gov I have governmental authority to legislate on behalf of God. I am responsible for bringing heaven to earth. I abandon every display of selfishness and I embrace my high calling to intercession. I see and perceive through the eyes of God. I am a kingdom legislator. I am responsible for delivering God's agenda on the earth. 
well of blessing to others. I am marked and set apart by God. I am called to a disciplined and holy life. God pays attention to me. I embrace my responsibility to govern the affairs of my territory. And I receive the grace to daily answer the name God calls me. Open your mouth and begin to speak in your own words. Come garment me this morning. I am garmented with fire. I am clothed with garments of fire. I am clothed with the spirit of anointing of prayer. I am garmented with fire. I am garmented with fire. Fire. They are 